Why, why are you surprised that it was fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> And thanks, Clark, a lot. <laughs> Got him! What will I ruin this guy? Oh, I just want to shoot him! It's fine. We've been taken over by minions here. They, the they Massey twins enough. are back. This is now yeah. their personal playground. Yeah, no kidding. Our guest today is author, comedian, actress, or is it comedian, actress, author, or is it actress, comedian, author, or is it... Sarah Colonna. It's whatever you want to say. It's whatever you yeah, want to what, do. Which you prefer? I don't know. I, that's the first time I've ever really thought about it. Let's go with actress, comedian, author. You are the <laughs> first person who works in Hollywood we have interviewed. Oh, really? I feel very special. Thank you for having me. Which is easier, being an author or working in show business? Um, They're both pretty hard, but I'd say being an author was one of the hardest things I've done because it takes a lot of time and also you have to make yourself right and sometimes I just want to watch TV. What drew you to a career in show business? Um, I always just wanted to do it. I always wanted to do it. Like it was always my dream. I just um, kind of grew up wanting to be an actress and so I studied it in college and then went for it. You are on tour a lot. How much time do you spend at home? Um, not nearly enough time at home. <laughs> I don't spend enough. It's for a lot. And then I come here a lot to visit John. My husband's John Ryan of the Rough Riders. I think you guys know that too. Yeah. Um, and so I don't spend nearly enough time at home, but I really like my home time. I like to watch, like I said, watch TV. <laughs> Being on the couch right now is very nice. So I'm glad you guys have <laughs> me. But just, I think this is one of our first interviews on the couch, mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe it'll be a new thing. Maybe I'll start something for you guys. <laughs> Your Netflix show, Insatiable, is TV mature, so we aren't old enough to watch it. That was awesome. <laughs> well, what is the show about? Yeah, I definitely don't think you guys should watch it. Don't want you to watch it. Um, not yet. <laughs> Uh, it's not. Uh, it's a show about a, a girl who was uh, bullied in high school, and then she kind of wants to take revenge on people. So it's um, a dark comedy, if you will, and it's very funny, but it's a little sad too. Um, there's nothing bad in it, but there's just some mature subjects. <laughs> what can fans look forward to in the new season? Um, the first season was very um, kind of a roller coaster, and this one is even more so. There's a lot of surprises and a lot of over the top craziness, and then a lot of kind of sad moments too. So there's a lot of really good and very funny. So a lot of new new twists and turns that people won't expect. What is the most surprising reaction you've ever received at a comedy show? Uh, when someone didn't laugh. <laughs> that's when it's supposed to be funny and they don't laugh that's the most surprising reaction for sure <laughs> thank you for laughing at that though <laughs> why do you think all these professional wrestler, res, wrestlers wow wrestlers have <laughs> taken up stand-up comedy that's a good question I don't know I guess because um, I mean they have these like big personalities already so I think maybe they thought it could translate into into doing that on stage, right? And yeah. without having to get um, hurt or hurt anyone. Contacting the kicker penalty, do the Rough Riders take the penalty or does the offender meet you in the parking lot after the game? <laughs> in the parking lot after the game. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just advice for all those people who are trying to tackle the kicker. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I like you guys. 12th man or 13th man, who is more passionate Seahawks fans or Riders fans? I have to say I didn't think I would ever see a fan base more passionate than the Seahawks fans because that was my first experience um, with John until I came to a Riders game. And I, I think they might be equal. I, I had no idea that both could be. Um, the Riders fans are super passionate, very fun, and the, this, the games are, are definitely a good time. 
Have you guys been to one? Yes. 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 They're they very wear fun. watermelons on their head. Yeah, I don't Green, know what... Green Bay does wear cheese on their head, but... What do you like better, cheese or watermelon? I don't know. I think... Cheese. If, it's, I was it, if it were to be an actual watermelon, you could be like, take it off your head and then just eat it. That's true. I've never, I don't, I haven't. If you think it logically. I haven't no. figured out why they were watermelons. Do you know why? Nope. I think it's just because they're green. Can you tell us about Clutch? Yes, I have a line of purses called Clutch Women. And you can get them on clutchwomen.com. And they are made though, you guys, um, in Canada, you don't have the same rule for stadiums, but in the United States, yeah. uh, they have to be four by five by six by five to get into a stadium. Otherwise they have to be a clear bag. Um, so I made um, purses the exact size that is allowed in stadiums so that women could carry a bag without having to make it clear. Are the bags designed so you can sneak a Mickey in? <laughs> Absolutely. How'd you know that? I know that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. It's I mean, it definitely fits one. So I'm not here to say that I, I wouldn't do it. Is, but I think I You're not allowed to know what a Mickey is yet. I know what it is. You do? Let's stop. Let's get off of this conversation. <laughs> Why this has officially gotten weird. <laughs> Why did you put inspiring messages on the inside of the bags? Um, because I wanted them to be something that made uh, women feel good. And I wanted to be something, I want the bags to not just be a purse, but have a nice message behind them. And the word clutch can mean a lot of things. Like in sports, you come in clutch, you came in at a, at a good moment and did something right. Um, and I feel like women, it can also mean that you're a clutch friend or you're always there for someone or um, your partner or whatever. So I like the idea of having these like nice messages on the inside of the bag. When you open it up, you get a little reminder. As I was saying, Angel's, Angel's fan, how do you react to, to the rumors of Joe Madden being your next manager? I mean, I think it would be awesome if he is. I, I hope that he is. I feel bad for the manager that only got to, to be manager for one year and they fired him um so i kind of feel bad because i would have liked to see what he's going to do he was going to do but if joe madden wants to manage the angels i say hey let him what do you see more of the portland pickles or the angels i see more of the angels but i love portland pickles and we um because they only play in um the summer they only play in the summer because it's a college wood bat league so we only get to see them play from like june to august what's your guilty pleasure Guilty pleasure. This is starting up a lot of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> My guilty pleasure is probably just a big pile of Mexican food. Oh. So if you know a good place to get good Mexican food in Saskatchewan, please tell me because I haven't found one yet. What's your pet peeve? My pet peeve is probably, oh, I have a lot of them, but mostly when um, people take their um, shoes off on airplanes and they don't have socks on and they have just their bare feet out on an airplane. Yeah, that's the right reaction. Don't ever do it. Very upsetting. I, I fly never, a lot. And if I, I do that, like, everybody around me will wear be it. disgusted. <laughs> like, no if you're going to gonna wear it, if they have full shoes and wear, and ha their bare feet are in the shoes, but if you're wearing flip flops, that's okay Wrong. I know no it's not okay not you can't be you got you got to keep your you got to keep your bare feet off of other people's think is that then they put them on the on the oh. armrests and they put them on the tray tables no that's Just bring disgusting. a pair of socks with you and then put yeah. those on on the plane and then what is the worst question you've ever been asking asked in an interview uh, no. whatever that one was we like to do rapid fire. <laughs> Questions with this or that. Answer. Cat or dog? I really like both, but I'll just go with cat. Yes. yes I already scored points. I knew that was going to go over well with you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, coffee or any energy drink? Coffee. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Instagram or Twitter? Sorry, I had to say that because I work for them. Okay, yeah, uh, I actually like Netflix better than sometimes. Especially when it doesn't give you ads in the middle of it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Instagram. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and don't forget to oh, catch Sarah on tour or on Netflix. Wait, is it already over? I was, I didn't know, I thought he had another question. That's 
No, you he made him throw it away because he was afraid to ask it. Thank you for joining us today. The links to Sarah's website are and Clutch are in the description below. And I'm so, I, I don't even know how the description below works. works, so don't ask me. Whatever you do. I don't do. either, by the way. I can barely work YouTube, so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to be on here and have, it, I like have you guys help me out with that. I'm don't kind worry. of smart. You can, you don't know how it works, I do. <laughs> me? Well, thank I you guess for I'm doing, doing this today. Thank you, thanks guys for having me, that was really fun. Yeah, it was, that was actually really fast. Why, why are you surprised that it was fun? <laughs> 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 um, okay.